Hello everyone, this is Bradley. So today we are going to talk about how to transfer attributes into these instances for various work. For example, I would like to change the color of instances in geometry nodes and so on and so forth. I'm firstly going to present the method using the presets and then I'm going to break down these presets. So let's just start. So here we're in Blender. And this is a pretty simple setup that I have a grid and I uh, instance the cube on each point of this grid. I also give all this kind of cube a material so that we can see in material preview mode by changing this kind of colors that we can see how this will change the color of all these kind of cubes. My goal here is that I have an empty. So this is an empty with the kind of a sphere shapes. Uh, I want to change the color of the some cubes depends on their location relative to my sphere. So if they are covered by this sphere, then they should show maybe red. If they are outside the sphere, they should show green. So this is the concept, uh, which is called the proximity fault or spherical fault, whatever you call. Uh, this is equally true if you're using geometry proximity, but I'm going to use this preset, which you can download from free from the link in the description. Uh, and uh, let's select these empties. If I plug these four to the group output, then we can uh, output this information to shader for usage. However, there is, is a problem that if you look at the spreadsheet, and th this is evaluated means the final output, then we can see this instance domain that there is no such kind of attribute being called F here. The reason is that all this, kind of inst this is a huge limitation in 3.0 currently. That all these kind of instances are empties and they do not carry any attributes. So neither they can actually show in shaders. So if we take a shader node, let's delete this principal BSDF. Let's take this attribute node. Normally all this kind of attribute should be able to show uh, within shaders. But if I plug this color into surface, everything's blocked because there is no such kind of value. In fact, we do not have this attribute at all because instance does not carry any attribute right now. Knowing that this is really just a temporary phenomenon because everything must just be fixed in 3.1. Uh, however, what if I'm going to work in 3.0? So what's the workaround for the moment? So. It's an unavoidable step that you have to realize the instance. Uh, if you do not realize the instance, you can see the output are instances, which are basically empties, as you have seen earlier from the spreadsheet. Once you realize the instance, everything has been converted to a mesh. So you firstly lose all this kind of concept of instances. Secondly, it converts everything into actual geometry. So you have, if you're having a very dense instance originally like a tree or other things it will definitely still sound computer once you realize the instance however this is unfortunately unavoidable for the moment because only all these kind of points vertices edge or faces can actually carry any attributes so for the moment you can actually already see the effect of our proximity fall but there is also one issue that i want to each instance being shown a single color instead of this kind of gradient based on the vertices we have. However, we no longer have all this kind of instance. Everything becomes a single geometry with 800 vertices. So how can we make them to think themselves as an instance again in this scenario? There are generally two ways. So, and they are corresponding to two different presets. Uh, one preset, is called the index converge. So to use this index converge, uh, I'm going to take a transfer attribute. Uh, and again, I will break down these presets later so that you do not need to worry if you do not want to use these presets. So I have this index converge. The way to use that is that you can either loop at instance or loop at the length that you define. Most frequently, I'm loop at instance so that I do not, so it, that it's procedural and I do not need to worry about any other things. And then let's plug this index per instance into the index. And then I just need to plug a value or so. In this case, we know this is proximity fourth. 
and so the target should be the initial grid so this is the basic setup so the thing that has been formed into the points for our instance on points it's also possible that you take the instance to points so that you plug these instance so as long as you can get the points no matter how uh, i do not really care about how you do that and then you plug it to the fourth so now you can see all this our cube is showing a uniform color and it's responding to our empty movement okay so this is the kind of idea whichever one that you use as a target does not really matter but this is how you use that this index converge method only works if it's the same instance for example a cube a single tree or other things so if uh, you are using a collection info node to have multiple instance then it will probably won't really work unless they are having the same amount of vertices so in such a kind of case you need to use another presets which is called the attribute to instance so this node uh, is very kind of similar but it just use a different method so what we do here is you put this instance into the instance geometry output geometry uh, there is a realizing instance inside so that you do not need to realize that again what we do here is you take the instance index and it will have the same results this method, however, can work with collection info. So other than that, there's really no much difference in performance, in my opinion, because both of them requires realizing instance. And both of them are kind of a temporary solution for the moment if you want to have all this kind of individual attribute for each instance. The tutorial should basically end here because these are temporary solution in 3.1 you no longer need to worry about that uh, although up to now it hasn't been implemented in 3.1 yet as well uh, but yeah whatever uh, however we're going to talk about how to build these presets i probably will only talk about this index converge uh, and uh, these are shared for free so you can know how they are being built uh, eventually so how to build this index converge why it's actually working the reason is that i'm basic we have this so once we are realized this instance i'm having 800 vertices and i know each instance is having eight vertices because this is my cube okay so what i'm doing here is this is a step called index converge that I have an index and if I take a float uh, let's take a math I divide this index by 8 so all this kind of value will be so from the index 0 because all index starts from 0 from 0 to 7 which is a single cube will be made to be less than 1 and now if I take a float to integer so I run them to whatever stuff maybe using a flow then this index 0 to 7 will be converged to 0 and then plugging this index into so now it's, this is working in real practice definitely you want to know the exact amount of vertices of this cube that's why you need to attributes of the statistic so you take this geometry you take the index you know the maximum and this maximum will likely needs to be add one so that you make sure seven divided by eight will be less than one for converge other than being a one so that it's go beyond so if I do not add one, then you will have a wrong result. If I add one, then you will have correct result. So this becomes a procedure you can start to use a cone or other object. But this method definitely has a limitation. If we are not using the same geometry. 
this means that this node, uh, this method, does not work for collection info node. That's why we need another preset which is called attribute to instance. Uh, what this node is doing is using a different method. So we, we still realize the instance, but we try to shrink all this kind of instance to a small point, as a small as a black hole. And then we transfer the attribute based on this location, so nearest or nearest the face interpolated. After we transfer this attribute based on the location, then we scale all this kind of meshes back to their original scale. So this is what's happening within this node. That's why it does not work based on index so that it can work with a collection of geometry. Uh, you can investigate in your free time, but basically that's the theory. Okay. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to actually answer a question that people asked. So people ask, is that possible to make tutorials without using all these kind of presets? Because it might be better for learning uh, because if we're using the pure Blender geometry nodes. I definitely understand this kind of concern, but just like in this case, we are already using six nodes for a function which will be irrelevant very soon. And every time if I'm talking about, oh, I'm getting different colors on this instance, I have to repeat the same process over and over again. It's very kind of unproductive. And the one preset may just mean five to six nodes. So it's not just that this kind of index converge, but also many other functions, for example, this geometry proximity. So the geometry proximity nodes requires geometry proximity, and we need the object info. I've discussed the fact that object info cannot directly feed into this target, so you need a mesh line. So this is already three nodes. And to make this distance work as a fourth, you probably need another map range node. Uh, if you would like to plug this scale into the maximum, or you would like to do more functions, there are all sorts of kind of stuff that you have the concern. So one node may just mean four nodes, five nodes, six nodes. And repeating all this kind of information in different tutorials is not really productive. And I also think there's no beneficial because it just lends the time for me to make the tutorial. It also increased amount of nodes that you have to read within the tutorial. The node tool will also be chaotic. That's why I decided not to do that. Another thing is that it's not realistic for me to not use the presets while I'm working with an animation. And so on and so forth. So my answer is no. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.